Welcome back to Arc Seattle at 10. I'm Steve Solis. Tonight I'm joined by Como Chief Meteorologist Shannon O'Donnell for our new Ask Shannon segment. So we do ask you on the afternoons on Fridays on Como News at 6 o'clock to send in your questions. This time we're going to talk to Shannon about dry lighting. But before we get to your questions, I have to know what is dry lighting? Yeah, that's a, a, the best question of all because it's confusing to a lot of people. Yeah. It seems kind of counterintuitive again because when you get lightning, you're usually getting rain, right? right yeah. And that, that is the case. Look at this picture and you can see it's sent in by Brenda and it was taken in the Palouse. And look at just all of the lightning Beautiful. beneath that cloud yeah. deck, right? Uh, the deal with this sort of lightning is it usually happens in the summer because we just don't have very much precipitation. Of course, you go into eastern Washington, eastern Oregon, a totally different climate than we have here on the western side of the Cascades. No maritime influence. It's high desert. It is much, much drier at the surface. So you get these big thunderstorms brewing. Often it's some monsoonal moisture that's been able to work its way all the way up from the desert southwest. So it's traveled over the land for a long time, working mm -hmm its way from the four corners up into the PNW. By the time it gets here, it doesn't have that much moisture anyway. It still tries to rain, but the atmosphere down at the surface is almost thirsty. It's mm. just wanting a drink. So it kind of drinks the water on the way down and a lot of it evaporates, gets kind of sucked into that dry air mass as it falls. The lightning, on the other hand, Steve, has no trouble at all making no. it down to the ground. Thank you. Nothing in the way. And it does hit the ground. And of course, often, especially July, August, we haven't had much rain in months. And certainly that's the case this year, right? right. It's extra dry. And that can just start to kick in those wildfires and get them going and because you have all that dry fuel and very little rain that is making it down to the surface it can start those fires and they just take off like a rocket so that's what dry lightning is it is a major threat for wildfires here in the western u.s i imagine wow okay so we want to get to your questions now this first one's from george thomas who wants to know is there a link between dry lightning and wind speeds you know, not really, because beneath these thunderstorms, you get big downbursts of wind anyway. So they're always happening. You get these in the winter, and there'll be a big downburst of wind, but the atmosphere is much more moist at the surface. Yeah. So that's rain and gusty wind at the same time. It's all blowing out at the surface, along with the lightning. In the summer, it's just dry. I mean, there's always wind inherently associated with thunderstorms. So, so it's really not wind that's the issue. It's just the fact that the atmosphere is so dry right near the surface of the Earth. Okay, good to know. All right. Gabrielle and Max want to know how many of these happen every year in Western Washington and how do you even quantify the amount? Yeah, great question. Let's look at another picture. Uh, this is a viewer picture here sent in uh, from Kevin Roylands. You can see that. Look at the dark wow. bottom of the cloud. Look at how dry it looks at the surface by comparison. And then you can see this lightning zigzagging through the sky. Yeah. No great way to count that or quantify it or determine whether it's really dry lightning. It's just kind of a colloquial term, frankly, saying, oh, there's not much rain with this lightning. This isn't the kind that's going to help, you know, quench our thirsty and parched land. It's it's hard to count. You can count lightning strikes, yeah. but to actually count were, were those totally dry, were they partly dry, how much of that rain was coming down. I, we also had in that initial graphic uh, that kind of rain that evaporates on the way down. It's called virga. So you right. can sometimes see the shafts of rain falling and kind of twisting in the wind and then disappearing before they hit the ground. Uh, that's, you know, how it works with the dry lightning. But yeah, pretty hard to count what is actually dry lightning and what's not. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get to uh, Roger F's question, who actually starts with a hi, Shannon. Uh, hi. I want to know how you're able to predict this kind of lightning. It must be tough. Yeah, you know, we just, it's kind of like, you know, predicting the Puget Sound Convergence Zone. Once mm -hmm. you've been doing this long enough and you know what to expect in your region, you know, it's probably coming. And we know we can see with soundings, which are the weather balloons, the radio signs that mm -hmm. launch up into the atmosphere, you can see the lower levels of the atmosphere are very dry. You see thunderstorms on the way up on the models you know yeah you know, there's a pretty good chance that most of this lightning is going to be the so-called dry lightning when it breaks out okay good to know mm -hmm. all right finally karina wants to ask does this kind of lightning happen more in certain spots of washington very good question and one more picture just to showcase the answer uh, this is from john clement photography and notice the location is the columbia basin the previous two locations were the palouse and central washington oh yeah 
all east of the Cascades. So yes, lacking our maritime influence there, you get into eastern Washington, eastern Oregon, parts of Idaho and Utah, that is definitely where it's going to be much more dominant and much more worrisome as we head into the midsummer and that wildfire season is starting to take off. Uh, I feel like I just went to school. Good. I'm glad you learned something. <laughs> Shannon, thank you. Of course. We do appreciate you taking time to answer our viewers' questions. Absolutely. Every Friday, folks, don't forget. All right, so the Seahawks take a step